Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Something a little bit different today, and let's just jump straight to it. Glasses. Would you have thought I've worn glasses? Hmm. Yes, and you know what? Absolutely. If only I had the same enthusiasm about my hearing aids, which of course, as you may have been watching my channel, as the time goes on, as years progress by, I am getting more comfortable with hearing aids. I only wish they were sort of more, you were able to change them and you were able to sort of create them as a little bit more of a personal feature about you rather than just sort of one sort of standard of hearing aid. But let's get back to it. So glasses. Glasses. For me, I always have to use my glasses if my eyes are getting a little bit tired towards the end of the day or if I'm doing some study or if I'm doing lots of computer work, if I'm on sort of lying um, or if I'm doing reading and again, mainly studying. Um, and very often if I'm at work or in my last job, rather, I should say now, um, in working in a bank with lots of sort of small print and things, we're talking to customers with brochures and small print on the screen. My glasses run mainly a lot of the time. Um, that show you. Okay, so bear with me just for a moment. So these are the ones I have now. You have to forgive me with the glare on here because I didn't actually pay out for anti glare. And as you can see, that is going to have to be something which I do. So these are my glasses. And do you know what? Really, I'm going to hold my head down a little bit so you don't get the shine of the light here. But do you know what? These are probably my favourite pair. Really, really like these. So the lime green on the side with the uh, Jasper Conran, by the way, and there's like a dark blue and a lime green here. If you can't sort of pick that out from the camera. Really, really like that. Um, other pair. Let's just grab the other pair. So yes, I do have two pairs. And these are, again, a bit of a statement, but this is what I like. So it's like a spring here. And you know what? This will probably sound quite, quite a little bit of a solemn type of thing to say. But however, I always pick... A standout sort of pair of glasses because it takes the emphasis of hearing aids being the first thing that people see so I always thought if I had when I was originally picking glasses if I had a frame which would be quite eye-catching quite different sort of sleek smart really out there people would see that rather than my hearing aids you may notice that I don't have hearing aids in for this clip and that unfortunately is because I'm having a little bit of an issue over the past two, three days of a really, really painful. This is my deaf ear. This is my left side and this is my deaf ear. So I don't hear anything from here and I've lost quite a lot of the sense from this ear as well. And for me to feel pain here, I know it's really, really bad. But the outside of my ear is all painful. Inside is really hot, warm and sort of puffy. And for anybody who has hearing problems and wears hearing aids, the last thing I have, hypoallergenic uh, plastic mold as well, because I'm allergic to a lot of things. Um plastics and things so I've had several different molds but that's why I'm not wearing hearing aids if you are wondering so I haven't got hearing aids in at the moment and sometimes it being quieter if you're a bit stressed out sometimes that's quite nice if it's just you or if you're on your own for me at the moment it's just me in a room sort of just taking a moment with the camera which is great and sometimes that can be a little bit de-stressing particularly if I put some sort of soft music on because I do suffer with tinnitus as well. Of course, that has to be a bit louder, but there we go. That's my way of dealing with it. Let's get back to it. So that's why I always chose a bit more of an out there frame and just going straight back to it. So if I have my favorite glasses on straight away at work, you would see the lime green and the navy blue rather than the hearing aids in my ear. OK, and then, of course, if you had my other glasses, you would see the red in the front and you would see the sort of spring sort of feature at the sides and you know I've had many many compliments of these glasses let's get serious now so glasses it's time for new glasses and you know I actually thought it had been 10 years it's actually been eight years since I've had my eyes tested you may think why now well every year when the summer comes round, and of course I know we're in winter now but every year in the summer I always say to myself I need to revamp my glasses I need to get some new glasses the summer rolls by, the autumn rolls by, we're back into winter again. Of course, you can have your eyes tested whenever, but I usually tend to do things like that when sort of the season sort of completely changes, sort of all when spring's here, sort of early summer. And then I kind of get things done like for myself then. I always have a dentist appointment then. Those type of things. You get yourself into a little bit of a routine. Um, and for me, what I really... <sighs> never kind of got around to it and I will be very honest because of the amount of problems I've had with my hearing and still having it really put me off because when I was under um, a certain consultant I was always told that as I got older potentially things could change with my eyes because of how much hearing I'd lost and that frightened the absolute living daylights out of me and I would never go and have my eyes tested and I would keep putting up with the glasses which I had 
But then recently I've noticed that I've been starting to sort of strain a little bit more with my eyes. And I just thought to myself, do you know what, now, t because actually the last couple of um, last couple of days from having a hearing uh, from an eye test, I had a few headaches. And then if anybody will tell you, that's the first thing you uh, you need to go and get tested is your eyes. So I booked the appointments. And when I had it, I was informed um, that they have a new uh, 3D imaging scan, an optic scan, I believe it is, which scans the whole of your eye um, and the optic nerve and, and every, every part of your eye. So I thought to myself, with the amount of problems I've got going on health wise and the amount of tablets and things I'm on, and I've had a few health scares in the past. It's not, and actually one um, around my eyes as well. When I was a very small child um, and I had my eyes tested, I was I informed that uh, it was the most frightening experience of my life. I was sent to um, an eye specialist hospital the following day uh, because they thought um, I had some tissue behind my eye, which was abnormal. Um, it all turned out to be fine, thankfully, but it was an absolutely frightening, horrendous experience of my life. I remember looking to my mum in, in absolute floods of tears. Um, quite an awful, awful experience and something I will actually quite remember. So I've had a few health scares. So when it comes to my eyes, I do get a little bit weary. Uh, so when I finally went for the test, I had my eyes, test, uh, eyes tested and I had the scan and everything was healthy and I was actually informed for the amount of hearing I have lost I have very good sight however my sight has changed um, I think it's gone down a little bit um, I'm informed but not too much so still staying optimistic um, and even though I was having my eyes tested anyway I had in my mind that I wanted to revamp my glasses so I chose two new pairs of glasses yes two for one you may guess where I have got my eyes tested it is Becksavers and here in my local area they really really look after me very very well um, you may think that's a little bit weird, but however, a lot of my family members so are uh, under there and they have their eyes tested regularly, whereas I don't. So when I've gone in before and booked appointments for family members and things and picked up glasses before, I do know them. Um, so that's why I say that they are really, really nice and they do look after you in there, uh, particularly my local Specsavers. So yes, that's me. So yes, time for new glasses. Is that a negative thing? No, they've got a little bit worse. But in the grand scheme of things, for how much hearing I've lost, um, huge. And I'm so, so happy and so relieved, especially because uh, prior to when I had my eyes tested, I was getting like a black shadow across the top of my eyes. But I'm told because I suffered with quite bad vertigo and I had a bit of an episode of vertigo about a week ago now, it could be linked to that. I'm told to book a GP appointment um, to get things checked out anyway, which I will be doing um, just to sort of get peace of mind with that as well. But on the whole, everything's great really really pleased with that so i had the optic scan had the 3d imaging scan and if you are ever offered that if you ever watch this i absolutely urge you and if you think what's that when you're going to have your eyes tested next of course you meant to have them done yearly and you're offered an optic scan or a 3d scan of your eyes go for it i believe they can tell you uh, things way way in advance before it even actually happening which is fantastic so of course me losing so much hearing particularly on my left side and a small loss on my right side i thought to myself let's jump in and have it done straight away and everything was healthy and it's absolutely incredible you, they can act, the optician actually shows you a 3d image throughout your eye test of your whole eye and your optic nerve and all sorts of things and it's incredible absolutely i was really quite blown away by it so really fantastic experience and i can't recommend them highly of course this isn't represented by anything or anyone at all um personal choice that's what we're doing today i'm talking about getting new glasses and in a couple of days time i'm actually going to be collecting them so we may do a little bit of a clip probably <laughs> probably knowing me i will be showing off on here with my new glasses coming up in a few days time so thank you very much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed that clip, something different, something fresh. But for 2020, why not start off with some new glasses? And hopefully my ear will be a lot more comfortable and pain free when I do the next showing of my new glasses. Um, but yes, yeah, so thanks very much for bearing with me with that. And I really, really have enjoyed this clip and I hope you have too. So until next time, and you know what, let's finish it with a pair of glasses on. Until next time, we will see you then. Bye now.